What about Nmap? Can we use Nmap as uh, to, to find APIs and test them? Yeah, on the active side of things, you can use a tool like Nmap to just get a basic understanding of your target. And so you can enumerate the ports that are open, services that are running, maybe the HTTP responses that, that you're getting from some of those uh, quickly. And that can guide you through and maybe point you in the right direction of an API. Uh, but once you've discovered something with Nmap, then the great next step is to test it out. So use a web browser and go and, and check out those uh, different URLs that you discovered. And of course, proxy your traffic so you can see all of the requests that are going on in the background, because it may not be obvious that an API uh, call is being made in the background while you're browsing around from page to page. Another part of your active reconnaissance is going to be scanning for uh, endpoints. And so you can, yeah. that's where your tools like WFuzz, Kite Runner, and uh, any sort of directory brute force is going to take place. I like to give people who are new to the industry like the hot new trends and like an easy way to you know make a mark for themselves. If I'm new to the industry, I mean I'm assuming it's going to be yes. But would you recommend like API hacking as as a good place to start? One hundred percent. APIs are a great way to start because. One, there are not a ton of people doing it, and the need is great. Yeah. A lot of these API providers go untested for a while until an attacker comes along. I think APIs can be very approachable. Even though it seems like this big, new, scary technology, once you get into it, once you start making API requests, that gets you a foot in the door. So you know how an API provider responds. You know what to expect from that. You know the sort of uh, parameters that are expected in a request. Just those basic things. If you just go and interact with an API, uh, then you can you can learn a lot from that to get you started. And then you get into the exploits. We're, we're not talking about creating these zero-day exploits that require all this work and research and everything. We're talking about using an API as it was designed with your user account and then attempting to access another user's account or resources. And so these... Things are not rocket science, but there is some basic understanding that goes into it before you can get going. And so once you have that, APIs are a great target. Like, uh, like we said before, like APIs are one of the leading attack vectors and the adversaries are already doing it. And so we need to catch up as the testers. And I think it's a great new topic for someone that just wants to get their foot in the door with hacking. Um, it's a great first attack vector to focus on. Number one, there's huge demand because there's not enough people out there doing it. Number two, this is growing like crazy. Number three, it sounds like the barriers to entry are not that high, as in you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars buying some fancy equipment, is that right? That's right, yeah. Uh, as long as you have a basic rig that you can work off of to attack from, then you should be good to go from there. Uh, all the tools in the book are free and effective at testing for these vulnerabilities.